be the Android for Work demonstration of AirWatch. Uh, what we're going to demonstrate to you today is the ability to uh, enroll the devices in, in two methods. Uh, device one uh, enrollment will be uh, a work profile enrollment. Uh, this is used for dual persona uh, and provides um, BYD users a method to enroll in to receive corporate applications uh, and be able to use those applications in a secure way using Android for Work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to enroll this device, which is a Sony Z5. Uh, this is classed as a BYOD device, so it already has an Android uh, a Google account uh, applied to it. Um, in preparation for the demonstration, I've just downloaded um, the agent for AirWatch and I've also uh, attached it to the local corporate Wi-Fi. So to enroll this device all I need to do is uh, input the information uh, of the server. You can do this with a QR code that can be received on an email uh, or you can do it through auto discovery of email address if you've configured that in your platform as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put the details in and you'll see the enrollment process and uh, what's involved. Um, at the end of the demonstration, I'll show you two uh, slides, uh, which are the uh, workflows for each of the uh, enrollment processes. Um, and as we move forward, um, as discussed earlier in the presentations, there is a roadmap to show uh, different methods of enrolling for managed work device. Uh, what I'm showing you at the moment is a work profile, which is dual persona. So this allows you to... Uh, receive your corporate applications like your email, your corporate SharePoint access. Uh, if you're using AirWatch Workspace ONE, you'll be able to then get your unified catalog uh, with your application apps access to all your corporate apps. Um, and through that method as well, you'll be able to use single sign-on uh, and have full access uh, based on your entitlement. Um, so we're just going to set up this phone. You can see here it's just um, doing what it's doing. So it's now setting up the work profile. Uh, so this is now communicating with uh, Google uh, Android for Work portal to uh, confirm the device. Uh, and now it's going to go and uh, do the registration process. As you can see there, it's already downloading the um, Android for Work containers that have been provided by your entitlement through your IT administrator using the EMM console. So now it's just registering your work account. So this work account is used for all the uh, data that's been uh, acquired and encrypted on the device. So all your applications are, are controlled and managed by this, um, this account. This account is not exportable, uh, so when an employee leaves the business, you can unenroll his device and this account will be uh, removed. Uh, so this account cannot be reused uh, outside of an Android for Work EMM uh, enrollment process. So I'm just gonna accept uh, location services and storage and uh, as you can see now the device is, uh, is enrolled. Uh, I go to the app catalog and hopefully it will pull down all the applications that have been entitled to me. In the previous demonstration that I showed, I showed you how to go into the Google Play site, uh, pre-approve all your applications and then in the AirWatch console assign those to individual users. Uh, and that's the enrollment in Work Profile. So what I'm just going to do is show you um, in the agent that it is a Work Profile managed device and as you can see here Android for Work, Work Profile. So this is a dual persona device, so I have my personal applications on one side and I also have uh, my corporate applications on the other side. So these two play stores are completely different and uh, allows me to still be able to download applications that I need to use on my personal side. Uh, let's just do Angry Birds. Uh, and I'm still able to select and download and install and use consume these applications. Um, on the Play Store for Android for Work, my applications have to be pre-approved by my administrator. And also, if the application's permissions change, um, the administrator will be notified of any application changes, uh, and they have to then go into the Android for Work page and pre-approve those permissions. So if the permissions get changed on an application, uh, then the application uh, will not function until those new permissions have been granted by the uh, end user. You can see there, it's allowed me to uh, put Angry Birds onto the phone and uh, use it. Okay, thank you very much.